Welcome to Baylor Bee Supply. I'm David. Today we're going to talk about three basic setups. Two deeps, three mediums, and a deep and a medium for beginner beekeepers. We're going to start with getting your hive up off the ground. We sell this Bee Smart hive stand. You get your hive about 12 inches off the ground. I like to start with a landing board. This is something you do not have to have to be a beekeeper. This is the therapeutic part of beekeeping for the beekeeper to watch the bee zigzag and walk into the hive. So that's where we're gonna start. And then we're gonna start with a screen bottom board. It's got a screen so the varroa mites fall through, hopefully out of your hive. And then we're gonna put an entrance reducer in when you shake your bees, we're going to start with a deep. You would shake your bees. Didn't get it quite far enough out. You shake your bees into one deep box and you want to feed them. Uh, you have a Miller feeder. This holds about a gallon and a half to two gallons of sugar water. The bees can go from inside the hive into the feeder, back into the hive without ever leaving the hive. We recommend a ventilated inner cover on top of that to keep bees from drowning that want to rob your hive. So that goes on top there. So this is how you start your hive. <clears throat> After they dry out the whole 10 frames, you want to remove the telescoping top and the feeder. You might have some sugar water left in it. And you want to add another deep box. And then you would put your feeder and your inner cover back on. And then your top on top of that. And that is your two deep setup with a middle feeder. So I'm going to take the top off and break this down, and then we're going to set up a three medium setup. Let's set up, let's start with a deep and a medium, since the deep's already here. Same thing, you'd start it off with your deep, then you have your medium and you use your feeders and all. Let's, let's say feeding is over and you, you, you take your feeder off and the bees have got their stores built up. We have a regular inner cover that you want to put on your hive. So the bees only have this little area here to guard in the area down here. I like the ventilation coming out of the back of the hive. So when you put your telescope and top on, we want to pull this backwards to open up the ventilation here in the back. When you use your Miller feeder, you'd want to use your ventilation inner cover. Any other time, if you're not feeding, you want to use this in regular inner cover. So I'll take that off now. So that's the deep and medium setup. The only disadvantage to this setup is you got two different size frames, so they're not interchangeable. And you always want to center your frames in the center of the box. So let's take this one off. And then we can go to the three mediums. And you start off the same way with one box. And you put your feeder on and feed. And then you want to start with your second box after they get all that drawn out. And then your third box. And all of these setups is what we call the queen's area. And you never want to extract honey out of these three setups. You build bees your first year. The second year you make honey. You would, the second year take and put a queen excluder on top and do your honey supers. And then you would want to 
use your inner cover. And another thing about the inner cover that I didn't mention is it keeps the bees from propyl propylizing the top down. And if you don't know what propolis is, you'll learn pretty quick because it's bee glue. It's very sticky, it's resin from trees. And for your ladies that like a pretty yard and you want something pretty in your hive and you don't like this aluminum top, I have something special for you. We sell pretty copper tops. And it will be beautiful sitting in your yard and you always want to pull it back so you have the ventilation coming out the top. We'd love to see you come by the store. We're centrally located in North Carolina in Hillsboro. So come see us and enjoy beekeeping. Have a blessed day.